What's the word, people? Welcome back to Visuals for the Culture. I already know y'all niggas is like, what happened? To, what happened to my man? It's like, what, 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 where my man been at? Like, gangster. I was in, I mean, um, what we call that? I was in technical jail, not technically, but like, the hardware was fucked up. Pause for me. You know what I'm saying? So, well, fuck all that. We back, you heard, and I'm not leaving y'all. You feel me? That's what real Bronx niggas be telling they girl, but you know what I'm But I'm not leaving y'all, gangster. So let's get into the first story, bro. I know y'all miss me and all that, man. You feel me? I miss you and all that. <laughs> but let's jump into the first story, though. So, according to police and according to Bronx 12 News, two suspects wanted in a gunpoint robbery. Police are asking for help identifying the suspects who robbed a man at gunpoint in the Bronx. According to authorities, a 36-year-old man was walking on Willis Avenue when he was stopped by two suspects who held him at gunpoint and demanded his belongings. They stole an unknown number of items before running off. Police say the victim was not injured. Anyone with information, you already know what to do. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, you know, I took a little time off because, you know, my little technical difficulty and all that. But, I mean, shit, we ain't miss a beat. Gangster, we ain't miss a beat. Feel me? Like, you know, niggas are still on scooters, getting crazy. You know what I mean, elderly people still getting popped on. People getting shot, you know what I mean? S when they boomed, it was my fault. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to say that word. Bro, gangster, I'm trying to be careful how I talk on this YouTube shit. Feel me? See, I did it again. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful how I talk on this YouTube because gangster, they demonetize you for everything. But feel me? We ain't miss a beat, unfortunately. But let's continue on to the next story, you heard? So, according to the police... Three women sought for robbing a Bronx supermarket. Wow, shit getting crazy out here. So according to Pix11, three women robbed a Bronx grocery store last month, and one of the suspects pulled a taser out on the store manager when he tried to stop them. The group tried to leave Antelana Supermarket at 124 West Fordham Road without paying for the items at around 8.30 p.m. on August 21st. One of the women then tried to use a taser on the store manager before the trio fled the scene. There were no injuries reported. The stolen items cost $7. There have been no arrests. You already know what to do. I ain't going to tell you what to do. So, feel me? If you look up on the screen, you know what I'm saying? We got some... Bronx hood rats, feel me, stealing seven dollar stuff and all that, feel me. I mean, what else can I say? <laughs> what more can I say? Shorty is bugging. I mean, like the bonnet on and all that, and I mean the sweatpants and all that. Like, you feel me? The pink weave and all that, tatted on the chest. You feel me? Like, what more can I say? Like. You already know she's the typical Bronx hood booger. And I'm from the Bronx, so don't think I'm just trying to come at the Bronx. This is my city. Feel me? Like, she's a hood bat. Feel me? Like, this is what we got to deal with. This is why it's hard to find, you know what I'm saying, queens in the Bronx. You feel me? Not queens the spot, but I'm talking about actually good women. You feel me? Because they come up just like us. Feel me? Like, we be going through all of the whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? Rough times and all that. They are females, but they grow up in the same environment. So we get these mutated females that just do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not only the, the niggas that's burnt out in the Bronx, feel me? Like, we got some mutated, burnt out females, aggressive, mad aggressive and all that. Feel me? Like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So feel me? So I'm not surprised, you feel me, they, they robbing a, that wasn't even a robbery, like, I mean, yeah, that was a, a robbery, you back out the taser for something that cost $7, hit the store manager, you on camera, like, she must have really needed that shit, bro, like, gangster, but that's Fordham Road for you, you know what I'm saying, 
But let's move on to the next joint. I'm pretty sure they're going to catch her. Like, you on camera, face out, all that. Like, it's, I mean, whatever, bro. Anyway. So, according to News 12, police fatally shoot an armed robbery suspect at a Bronx 7-Eleven. So, according to News, a robbery suspect who was armed with a large kitchen knife was fatally shot by police at a Bronx 7-Eleven. Officials say around 2 p.m. Saturday, the suspect entered a 7-Eleven in the Throgs Neck area. Officers say they were tipped off to an armed man inside the store by an employee who left and ran to a nearby police precinct as soon as the suspect got aggressive. The woman then flagged down two officers at the 45th precinct just down the block. When she came back to the store, the suspect was seen behind the counter with another employee. Police officers say that they entered the store, told the man to take his hands out of his sweatshirt pocket. The male advancing toward the officer produced a kitchen knife and began to lunge at the officer that was giving him verbal commands. The officer removed his firearm, attempted to retreat backward, and fired his firearm one more time, striking the male in the torso. Police say when the suspect ignored the officer's repeated commands to drop the knife, an officer fired a round out of their weapon. The suspect was pronounced dead at Jacoby Medical Hospital. One woman who works nearby was sickened by what happened. I wanted to throw up. I work here. I just came back from vacation. Yeah, I wanted to throw up, she said. The cops were able to get to the scene quickly because of their station's close proximity to this 7-Eleven. <laughs> well... <clears throat> So, yeah, you know, we got uh, girls robbing delis for like $7 worth of like, you can't even buy a proper steak with that. I'm just saying. And then this, this dude is in 7-Eleven. What you trying to get? The wings? I ain't going to lie. I be getting the wings sometimes. Them joint wings. I like when they extra... Like, they've been sitting there all day, and they mad crispy. I like that. Don't judge me. But is that what he was trying to go get? I don't understand, because you got a knife. Like, what is that 7-Eleven that could be worth you going to jail? But then that question right there is for normal people. For me, that's not for people who burnt out and that just do random stuff like this. So clearly he... He need, like, mental assistance, help. You know, he need to go to Bellevue, clearly. I mean, he's dead now, you know. Rest in peace to him. I mean, unfortunately, he got killed. I wish it didn't have to go that way. But, feel me, something is wrong with him. And, you know, not to go out of, feel me, but instead of all of this, giving everybody all these migrants Plate like, bro, we need to worry about what we got going on right now because y'all just adding more problems to problems that we ain't even solved. Feel me? Gangster. Because y'all not addressing the niggas that's burnt out over here, bro. Like, respectfully. Rest in peace to him, man. Y'all got to be careful out here. Obviously, there's, I mean, really sick people out here and all that, especially in the Bronx, unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, you know I mean, tighten up, man. But, yo, Mayor Adams, bro, like, bro, you needs to do something for real, gang. Like, stop worrying about all this other shit, bro, and take care of what you got already, bro. Feel me? It's getting out of hand. There's no, no, like, ain't nothing being solved, bro. It's just getting worse. Feel me? Let's move on to the final story, though. So, according to the Bronx Voice, a barefoot attacker beats a man as he tries to sneak inside his building. At around 2.30 p.m. on September 2nd, a 66-year-old man used his key to gain access to the lobby of his apartment building in the vicinity of West 169th Street and Nelson Avenue. That's Highbridge for any of y'all that don't know. The cops say another man tried to enter the building alongside the tenant who questioned whether he was living there. An argument ensued and ended in violence. The man who snuck in the building formed a closed fist and punched the 66-year-old man in the back of the head. The tenant fell to the ground and injured his right leg right above the knee. 
The attacker then proceeded to repeatedly kick the victim in the back as he lay on the ground. The attacker fled the building in an unknown direction. The victim was taken to Bronx Care Hospital where he was listed in stable condition. The suspect is described as a male who's between the ages of 30 and 40, 5 foot 7 and about 140 pounds, has black hair and was last seen wearing a white tank top, multicolored pants, white hooded sweatshirt, and a waist and a bent what? A white hooded sweatshirt around his waist. Okay. And he was barefooted. Anyone with information, blah, 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 blah. You know what to do. I ain't going to tell you what to do. I mean, all right. First of all, this nigga look like he's from Tekken or some shit, bro. Or like Street Fighter, nigga. This nigga look like DJ from Street Fighter mixed with a little bit of, um, what's this nigga name? The Brazilian nigga from Tekken that be doing all the flips and all that. He looked like them two niggas mixed, but without the dreads. You know what I'm saying? I'd be fucking on alert too, nigga. I'd have been like, where the fuck you going, nigga? You got on these multicolored pants, these little parachute pants looking joints. Feel me? With the with the tank top with no shoes on. This nigga look like he came out to fight, nigga. Feel what I'm saying? But why is the pattern so regular that niggas is popping on old people, bro? Respectfully. This is how these niggas are getting their anger off, bro. I'm starting this. I'm about to be like, bro, I'm going to start targeting niggas like this, bro, and getting my anger off. Because I don't, feel me, this is a weird pattern, bro, that we just keep seeing. But with that being said, watch out for these Bruce Lee black, Bruce Lee Roy niggas, black Bruce Lee Roy niggas, tank tops, barefooted. You see a nigga like that, be on point, feel what I'm saying? Because niggas is wildin'. I mean, clearly we got burnt out niggas in the, in the town or whatever the case is. So, yeah, you know I mean, with that being said, I'm going to holler at y'all on the next one, man. It's nice seeing y'all again, man. Pop out for the next one, you heard? Yeah.